Hello, it's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here is a pre-stretch canvas 16 by 20. What I did was I covered it with a thin coat of liquid white. That's what we use for this wet on wet technique that I'm about to do today. And any colors and information that you might need to follow along with me will come across the screen right about here. So today I thought we would do maybe something a little different, maybe a pond, maybe a dock, and maybe a cabin with some trees, maybe a summer scene. So I've got this two inch brush I started with a liquid white with a thin coat. I'm going to go ahead and put in some sky and maybe some water. And with the sky, we're going to mix some colors on the brush. Lizard and crimson. Fresh and blue to get a purple color. Just like that. You get all the different colors right on the brush. Crisscross strokes in the corners. Add a little bit more blue. Just tapping it. Get a bluer, a bluer hue to it. And just go right across. A little bit of blue in here. Here and there and there and here. Just like that. I'm going to take the blender brush now. We're going to blend it in. Get the sky. Get that effect of the sky. I start out with the liquid white. And it gets that on the blender brush like that. And then you can come right in with the colors. And you can make all kinds of things happen in your sky. By doing it that way, you don't grab in. You don't get too much of the dark color. And if you do, you can just blend it all in. I'm going to wipe some of that off. Grab some color over here. I want to leave some light areas in, because then you'll see that that's the way the sky looks. It's got some automatic cloud, cloudy areas, if you leave that in there. I'm just using circular motions. wherever you think there might be some clouds coming through or the sky and the way you think it might look that's exactly how it should look because it's your world going right down like this here picking up all kinds of different things Clean that off a little bit more. Go back into that two inch brush with a darker color. I'm going to add some more. Get that purple, maybe a touch of midnight black. Because in the water I like it to be darker because you'll notice in nature in some of the no, these creeks and the streams, they're always like, almost like a dark purple. So we can say that we're going to have something happen in here and here. Let's come across. Who knows? Maybe it goes all the way down. Going to leave that lighter area in there. That gives you a reflection of the water. You want to keep these lines as straight as you can. Because otherwise it's going to look like your water is falling off the canvas. And we don't want that. Always pull it from the outside in. Maybe it goes all the way down. Just like that. Now we got that going on. Now we're going to come into some liquid white. 
going to put some clouds in. Liquid white, maybe some of that purple color. Touch of midnight black. Load it up on the fan brush on both sides. Maybe, maybe in our world, we're going to start out with some darker color. Maybe it goes right up there. I'm just tapping this. Or you can do circular motions. Whatever you like. I like to do both. It gives me a different effect. Maybe it goes just like that. Leave some of those light areas in there. Pick up some more of that color. A little bit of darker. Circular. If you notice in the sky, there's all kinds of things happening with the clouds. There's all kinds of textures and different shapes and colors. And it's like, boy, that's what makes the sky. I'm telling you. Maybe it goes just like this. Just the way you think it should look. Just tapping it here and there. Get all kinds of little things going on. Add some more, and maybe over here we got some. Maybe over here we got some clouds right in the right in the opening of the light. That'll stand out real good. Maybe it gets fluffed up right here. Maybe it goes back. Who knows? It can do just about anything. Maybe it's some here, all the way down. I'm just rubbing across till I get that clouds, the cloud look. Okay, I'm gonna clean the I'm all using orderless paint thinner, cleaning that fan brush off. Because what I want to do is get into some pure white. And remember, a thin paint will stick to a thick paint every time. So I'm loading this up. Just want to get some of that weight of the clouds. Here I'm just tapping. Just on the corners. Wherever I think there might be some of that whiter clouds. Here and there and there and here. Maybe there's some right back here. Maybe it goes right across. We'll come back in and we'll blend this. We'll get some all kinds of different layers happening. We're going to take that blender brush, using just the corner of it. We're going to come in and tap this. It kind of softens it. And it gets that stuff happening. What you'd see in nature. Just here and there. And you can do all kinds of layers. Maybe after this. Knock the excess off. We'll come in with that fan brush again and put another layer. Another layer of the weight. If you notice in nature, they got all kinds of layers. It just keeps going. Maybe back here. Leave a little gap in between, because that gives you your layers. Just 
like that. Tap blender brush again, just a corner. Just tap this layer, just a little bit. Get all kinds of things happening. All the way back, just like that. Here and there. Looks like some clouds happening there. Clean this blender brush off now. Back the excess. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe we'll mix some of the blues and the purple and crimson and make a purple color. A little bit of black, midnight black. some Van Dyke Brown. Get all kinds of colors happening in this mountain. We'll put a snow cap mountain in here. A little roll of paint right across the edge. Maybe maybe we got a snow cap mountain right here. I'm just tapping it. some more all the way down that rough look that rough edge that's what you're that's what you're looking for maybe there's a little peak right there We'll throw some thicker, just like that. Wipe off that palette knife. And we're going to come in to... We're going to blend this down. The lay of the mountain. Maybe it comes right down, right down to the, by the water. Maybe we don't want it going right to the water because you want that area of mist right at the bottom of the mountains. You always see a misty, foggy, hazy look. Maybe that goes right back there. Just like that. Here and there and there and here. Just by Pulling the different layers, what you got going on is this is in front of that and it pushes all that back. Same thing over here. So when you're pulling it down, you look for these different kind of angles on where you think you might want some of this to be. Just like that. Take the palette knife now. Load it up with some white and determine where you want some of your snow to be. Just let it break. 
Get all kinds of things happening. Just tap it there. Let it run off. Maybe there's some right up at the top. Some on this side coming across the top. Just like that. Coming down. Maybe what I see. Maybe there's something right over here. on the edge like that. Looks pretty good to me. Take a little bit of that white and some blue. So what you want is a shadow color. You want to kind of leave it marble. A little roll of paint. You want to come in and find out where you might want some. Some of this marbly color to be. Here and there. Wipe the palette knife off. Come into the blender brush. I'm going to tap. Get the lay of the mountain. And get that misty look. Right at the very bottom. Just like that. Get that hazy. Maybe it goes all the way. Who knows? Just tapping it here and there and there and here. Knock the excess off. Now we'll see about putting some land in there. See what kind of land we want going on. I'm going to go into some liquid clear, phthalo green, sap green. More of a darker color and maybe some midnight black. Van Dyke brown. I'm going to get some dark color because when you put the light color on top of that, You're going to have all kinds of nice, bright things happening for your landscape. Just like that. Make a little sharp edge. Then you're going to come across here and you're going to start tapping it right where you want your land to be. across. 
building some land now. All I'm doing is tapping this. take the fan brush cleaning that again real quick I'm going to come in and pull up I think there's some distant trees there you can see that you pull up just the corner of your brush maybe it goes Smaller down towards the middle. Just pulling up with that color that we just put down. You get all the different looks of your evergreen trees. It's like a forest back there. get that reflection for the trees. We can go into some purple color that we use for the mountains. A little roll of paint. We'll come in here and tap it here right at the base. that's going to do is when we pull that, it's going to give us our water, our landmark. of the trees in there. blender brush will pull down just lightly right from the top just pull down then go across
get is that dark edge and you can always come back in with your palette knife little roll of paint of liquid white and you can just tap in some waterline here and there like that. Take that blender brush and just pull down from there. Just want to get that water. A little bit of the glistening. Looks pretty good. Leave that just like that. We're going to come in to it with some land now. Same dark colors, liquid clear to make it paint thin out. Maybe, maybe we got some land that follows this. some different greens. So we're going to put a cabin in here with a dock and I think it might be on this side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this side out further. coloring this in. Some darker color. start highlighting this you're gonna get the lay of the lay of the land you can put it down in mountain shapes whatever and it all depends on how you highlight we'll make that go right down there I think that's gonna be good this is going to go away, I think. I think we'll have this. Go off like that.
to tap the S like this. Different peaks there, but I don't really care for to have too many that stand out too far. Make it more like that. Okay, now I'm going to take the other two inch brush. I'm going to load it up with some white. I'm going to start highlighting the grassy areas, white and, and yellow. White and yellow. Now you want to start out where do you want the sun to be hitting. Maybe just like that. Maybe over there. Maybe back here. Just tapping this. Just like that. Just loading it up. Loading it up on the two inch brush. Cadmium yellow. titanium white. If you'll notice the gaps I'm leaving in between there, it's making it look like it's hilly. That's what it's that's when you look at it as the lay of the land. Or how you want the how you want the mountains or the grassy areas to look. Maybe here it might not be as light because it's getting closer to you. So it's going to be darker. And who knows, maybe this side is light right there. Maybe it comes down. doing is tapping to get that look. Just different hues of the different yellows because your green that's already on there is uh, automatically automatically coming and bringing out the different different kind of flavors of the yellow. I'm just going back and forth to different kinds of darker yellow, lighter yellow. I'm going to highlight all this. back and forth. Just till you get that right look you're looking for. Different shadows and everything. You can keep tapping as much as you want and get just what you're looking for. The more time you have, the 
more you can almost make it look like felt, the more you tap it. All the way down to the water's edge. Looks really hilly over here. I kind of like that. I kind of like where that runs right down. You don't have to shade it all in. Because by not shading it in, you get all kinds of things happening here. Let me show you with this. You got that depth. Like it's pretty, it's pretty hilly there. It's a pretty place to have a little cabin. All the way back. Step back and get the look of it. good. Cleaning off the fan brush. I'm going to come in and clean up this edge here, these edges. Right where the water line is. Kind of diffuse it. I'm just scraping. Just like that. All the way up. All the way on this side. Now we're going to take some of that same brush we had this color on. I'm going to pull some of this color some of that dark purple color and we're going to come along and make the water's edge here. Just tapping. That's the way it's going to look. You're going to see all kinds of little the darkest part of the water. It's getting a shadow. I'm just touching it, just tapping it. Trying to create that illusion like we've done, like we try to do on all the paintings. of what you see in nature and how you think it would look 
how can you put that on a canvas? How can you get that look? Now I'm going to take some white. I'm going to come in here and tap this. Different areas. Clean the fan brush off again, real quick. I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull this down. Where that water line is. Just like we did in the back. Now we're going to take the blender brush and pull down. Just grabbing here and there. You're going to find out, you're going to see all kinds of little things going on at the shore. More so closer than further away. Just like that. Want to give it that hazy, hazy, lazy. Just go right across. here and I'm going to get some of this out of here you may not see it at home or wherever you're at if I see some little speckles there that I didn't care for so I just had to clean it up same dark colors we used. Using some liquid clear to thicken it up. Just like that. Both sides. Maybe here we can have an evergreen tree right there. All the way down. Just pushing up. Here and there. Grabbing some more paint. Leaving some gaps in between there. More paint, the lower you get down, the darker it's got to get. It goes right down there. Here and there. That's one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now we're going to put our cabin in. 
going to scrape off an area where we want the cabin to be. And I think we'll have a small cabin right here. Let's see. We'll do the roof. We'll do the roof like right there. side of it right there and in the front right here just like that we'll have a little path coming down here maybe a little uh, Now for the roof, we'll put on some color, some brown, a little roll of paint, and we'll come in and we'll do just like the mountain. Tap it at the top, and come right down. you might want it to be take a little bit of white kind of kind of breaks it up tap it a little bit more kind of makes the, the top of the get some browns shingles like that. Now we'll get some brown and go down the sides. Just like that. Grab some more, maybe darker in the front. 